it's a rewarding job with a great salary. No, not this one. And good work-life <laughs> balance. But for too long, it's been seen as a man's world. 70% of Brits have never seen a female tradesperson, yet polls show that up to a third of us would prefer a woman. So to help the small but mighty minority of plumbers, electricians, joiners and plasterers, uh, we've been finding out about the online directory that's helping tradeswomen and homeowners. When we book tradespeople to fix the electrics or the plumbing in our houses, some of us might expect a man to turn up at the door. Hello. Hey, hey, hi. In. in fact, in the UK, over 30,000 women work in these professions. Hello, good afternoon, registered tradeswomen. And some of them have signed up to a new national register for tradeswomen. She'll call you later today. It's an agency for self-employed tradeswomen run and staffed entirely by women. It was set up by partners Hattie and Micah earlier this year. More and more requests every day. It all began when Hattie made a drastic career change. When I told my family I was giving up teaching to become a plumber, they were like, God, what on earth is she doing? <laughs> Hattie retrained as a plumber and set up an all-women plumbing company in 1990. We were already running stopcocks nationally, and so we were getting requests from people around the country, householders. Well, I need to know, first of all, where you are in the country, and then we can see if we can find you or somebody. We were also being asked by a lot of customers who were saying, I wish you had a one-stop shop. Please take on other trades because it's so much easier to work with you than to hunt around and look for other trades. And they wanted to know if we could find them an electrician or a, a plasterer or a decorator. And we thought and that was where the idea for the register was born, really. Amber is one of the women who signed up. Today, she's working on a boiler at a house in Oldham. I'm fitting a filter on the central heating system, which will prolong the life of the boiler and keep the system clean. Amber has been a plumber for over a decade. My dad's an engineer and I used to go to work with him when I was a young kid and I've always liked fixing things and it just sort of went from there. I first heard about the female trades register through my dad who read about it in his gas mag. I think it's an absolutely fantastic idea. I think it's really important that that community is out there. Uh, for our tradespeople and other people to use that service as well. The Register isn't just an agency. Hattie and Micah also run a training scheme. The Register is a not-for-profit, so there are no shareholders. All money that comes in is for running the Register and the greater missions that we want to do, which is to train more tradeswomen. I didn't think there was anybody in Birmingham, but there's quite a few. We have a really rigorous verification system because we feel that it's really important if we're going to be sending women to work in the homes of somebody who's vulnerable it's really essential that those vulnerable people know that the people coming are who they say they are and they're properly qualified and that they're properly insured despite the register being hattie's main focus she still does jobs for some regular customers hello hi, hi viv hi. just come to check up on that boiler the cat was very grateful about okay. the heating being <laughs> on. The poor thing was sitting right next to an electric heater we had right <laughs> underneath it. <laughs> Viv is one customer who prefers to deal with a female tradesperson. I'm not that up with technical stuff, but she doesn't treat me like an idiot. There are other reasons why some people choose female tradespeople. I've been contacted quite a lot by organisations working with women um, escaping domestic violence. It was pointed out to us that quite often in a refuge, for example, if tradesmen are coming in to do the work, they have to move the women out. A lot of people who've experienced abuse, and if it has been at the hands of men, they may be afraid of men. <laughs> they may really not want strange men in their home. And that can mean then that their boiler is dangerous. <laughs> their electrics isn't sorted out. Back in Oldham, Amber is finishing today's job. I think it's so important that that platform is out there, not just for the tradeswomen, but for the people who want to use that service for whatever reason. It was just a tiny seed in the back of my head 
but it's growing and growing and growing and it's into a, a mighty oak. Just watch this space. Watch this space indeed.